the track as we welcome you inside. I'm Paul Swangard, joined by Olympians Otto Bolden and Des Linden. We'll look ahead to some of the schedule on the track later, but let's get to the racing right away, Otto. The New Balance men's 200 meters. You see the world leader, Matthew Bowling, and Brian Bronson with the meet record as we look at the start list. We're going to see a lot of international mashups today, and we're going to see Trayvon Brumel, the fastest man at 100 meters a year ago. Yeah, he went to the Olympic Games, and then something went wrong. He didn't make the final. It's almost never that you see somebody who is the world leader in the 100 go to the Olympic Games and not make the final. But he has said it's not just about winning the gold medal. It's about competing well. Here is Elijah Hall. University of Houston alum. He is the American indoor record holder at 200 meters with 2002. That dates back to 2018 when he won the NCAA title. Christopher Taylor in lane four of Jamaica won at the Milrose Games last weekend. So he'll be in between Hall and Bramell. Josephus Lyles, older, excuse me, younger brother of Noah Lyles will be in lane six. We'll see Noah Lyles later on in the 60 meters. Opening the day with a New Balance men's 200 meters from Staten Island. One lap of the truck. So Brumel, second from the top, has already made up the stagger on Josephus Lyles. But this is not a distance that he has run a lot of lately. He's doing well so far, but how, here comes Elijah Hall on the inside in three. Hey, come off the final turn. Hall trying to close the gap on Brumel. It's straight at the finish, and Brumel Trayvon Brumel ever seemed comfortable in that race, Paul. But if he is going to be a better 100 runner, I think he's going to have to do this more often. Put yourself in some uncomfortable 200s, maybe even indoors. Look at that face. That says, oh, that felt a little longer than usual. So here it is again, one lap of the track. Trayvon Brumel is second from the top. You see Elijah Hall moving, motoring on the right. And he would make a nice move to try to get level with Trayvon Brumel here. But Trayvon kept more relaxed. Everybody behind him fighting themselves. He did not. So the person who is the veteran of the four on your screen, not going to win any style points, but he does win the race in 20. Point six four. The world lead, by the way, by Matthew Bowling of Texas and the University of Georgia, 20.27. Bromel's never broken 20 seconds outdoors. He said in the news conference the other day, that's a goal to make him a legitimate sprinter. The fastest man at 100 last year opens up here in Staten Island with a winner. The 2022 New Balance Indoor Grand Prix is brought to you by New Balance. We got now on the track inside the ring getting attended to, and we'll try to get an update on his condition a little later on in the program. Of this mile race today. And again, Trayvon Brumel still inside the track, winning that 200 meters. But we'll get back. If you're with us for the beginning of the broadcast, Tr Trayvon Brumel won the 200, stayed inside the track for a while on his back, was offered the opportunity to get wheeled off, but said, nope, I'm ready to roll. And he is leaving the track under his own power. Very good news for Trayvon Brumel. 